Welcome to Channel to Chaos. To learn the do while loop. Now, if you have been following my tutorials, you have probably learned already what is a loop and how a while loop functions. So today we're going to learn something called the do while loop. Now, in this loop, all we do is execute the statements, but the condition is checked in the ending. So after these statements are executed, it will check the condition. That what is a do while loop. So it's exactly the same as the while, but all it does in while is it, until the condition uh, until the condition has not been satisfied, it will not execute the statements right in a while loop. But in a do while loop, it would execute the statements first and then check the condition. Now these kind of lo loops, this do while loop, is not used as widely as a while loop or a for loop. It is mostly used in a switch case program, which you will learn in the future what is a switch case. But for today, we're going to just understand what is the syntax or format of the do while loop and how it functions or the working of it. So let's say we have got a do while loop. Well, first I'm going to show you the format, obviously. So this is the format of do while loop. It has got do, alright, whatever statements are inside these curly brace brackets, it would execute it. And when these statements are finally executed, it would check the condition and then display it. So let's say I'm going to write a message like printf. Any message would do. You just print anything that you want. I'm just going to print a brief message. So may the force be with you. That's the thing that I'm going to print. Now I want to print this until the value of i is not equal to phi. So not operator equal to phi. Alright, condition has been specified. I'm going to just use the i plus plus as the previous tutorial. Again, this is just a basic program for making your concepts clear on the basic features of programming in C. Now the thing is we would do a really advanced program once we have learned all these features. We will go advancing a little bit every time. But again, stick to these tutorials and just get the brief ideas of what these will, well, these features of programming do. And if you just understand these, you will understand any other tutorials that I deliver in the future. So again, I'm going to just run the program. And as you can plainly see, it enters in infinite loop. It enters in infinite loop because I've specified 5, obviously. It's going to say, since the value is 5, and it's not equal to 5, so what I have to do is change the value of from 5 to something else, and we'll print the message depending on the value I've entered. So it prints it for 5 times. I can print it as many times I want. And I can use these uh, slash operator, so it will print in a single line each statement. There you go. May the force be with you five times. Alright, it's really simple. So, the only difference between while and do while is that in while it executes the statement if the condition is true. Over here in do while, it will execute the statements first and then check the condition. But again, if the condition is not true, it would not execute it. To so do that, do just keep that in mind. So, anyway, this has been a shout out to Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.